and I don't like to say this about him because like he's my best friend, but I know he made a bad decision and he shouldn't have been in that like predicament, but it just I don't it should, it, it shouldn't have happened. Following the death of Centennial High School student Clayton Bowen earlier this week, his memory honored tonight at the basketball game by his teammates. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Tim Callahan and I'm Jessica Harrington. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores was at the game tonight where she spoke to family and friends. Alyssa. Tim, Jessica, those who knew and loved Clayton Bowen say that he was there tonight in spirit alongside his teammates at the Golden Eagles basketball game tonight. Family and friends packed the gym at Centennial High School to celebrate his life. And our fifth star tonight, number one, the spirit of Clayton Bowen. The Golden Hawks were one player short at tip off Wednesday night, the first varsity home game since Clayton Bowen passed away. Thank you, Clayton. It was a pleasure knowing you as a great young man. So at this time, we'd like to honor Clayton with a moment of silence. He loved a lot, a lot of people. A lot of people loved him. 16 year old Bowen was killed Sunday night in a DUI crash. Authorities say he was sitting in the passenger seat improperly with his torso extending out of an open window. He was ejected during a turn near Madison Michelle Way and Renfro Road and was pronounced dead at the scene. Tuesday night, the Centennial High School gym packed with friends and classmates paying respects to Bowen. He's not a bad kid. Like, and I don't like to say this about him because like he's my best friend, but I know he made a bad decision and he shouldn't have been in that like predicament, but it just I don't it, should, it, it shouldn't have happened. His best friend Morgan Dutton says Bowen will be remembered for his contagious positive attitude. He made the absolute best of what he could with everything he had and I think that's one thing I love most about him. Every day was like heaven to him. He was in happy land every single day. He was one of like the best people I've ever met because he always had a smile on his face no matter what, no matter how hard the day was. I'd come to school in a bad mood and he'd put a smile on my face and it's just like a hard loss for a lot of people. Bowen was on the varsity basketball and football teams. Friends say the number one player had big athletic aspirations. He wanted to play D1 football and everybody says like when God wants you, that's when he takes you, but it wasn't his time. The details for Bowen's funeral have not been finalized yet. The driver behind the wheel at the time of the accident was found to have been under the influence at the time of the crash. He was 17 years old and is facing several charges, including vehicular manslaughter. He's been booked into juvenile hall in Northwest Bakersfield. Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC. 23 ABC first to bring you breaking news at five about developments in the race for the third district board of 